In the heart of River State capital, Port Harcourt, stands structure that stands as both a testament and lingering challenges. The multi-billion Naira abandoned monorail project initiated in 2009 by Rotimi Amechi's administration is one of many projects abandoned such as malls, farms and others. The electric-driven train was implemented for the efficient mass transit due to increase of traffic on the road in Port Harcourt, which amounts for over 3 million citizens. Despite about $400 million having been spent, the line never went into operation and the development also stopped in 2016. They will make sure that this moral gets to Obibu, according to what I heard. But to me, it's, it's a white elephant project. Government is supposed to be a continuation of government. But in River State, what we see is high level of political tussle. One major project, as we have seen all over Nigeria, is a present administration picking projects initiated by previous administration. You say today, why didn't uh, the Wiki administration continue the money? What is the blueprint for that money? Where is the funding? What is the plan? Who is the contractor? Is the money collected? Is it commensurable with the job done? Possibly are the contractual agreements or even the projects as some and style may not uh, go well with the government. But one would have expected that rather than abandoning it, you know, the stakeholders can be called, uh, the issues reviewed. The open area is currently a park for trucks and a gathering place for criminals and posing great stress to the residents. Residents hope governments will go back to the drawing board if maybe remodeling will help fix it or alternative approaches that are suited to the Port current needs. Messi Adams reporting for BTV News.